What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the rear door check on this 2001 BMW 325XI. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description, head over to 1AAuto.com. I'm gonna take this window switch out first. Just take a straight blade screwdriver, get underneath here. You can also use a trim tool. Let's slide this up. There's two little tabs that hold it in. Disconnect the connector right there, just wiggle it up. Now we're gonna take a trim tool, take this trim off, just slide underneath here. Just carefully pry it out. There's clips that hold it on in the back and the clips stayed in with the panel, that's okay. Take these two little trim covers off, just use a straight blade pocket screwdriver. Pull that one off, and do the same with this one. I'm gonna take these screws out. There's five screws, two up there, one in there, and then two underneath this handle. I'm gonna use a T20 socket, extension, and a ratchet. Keep in mind, this screw is a long one right there. Once you loosen this one up, I'm just gonna take a small magnet, pull that screw out. Go underneath here, get these two. Now there's push pins that hold this door panel on. So we're just gonna use a door trim removal tool, or trim removal tool. Get underneath here and just pry out. You might need to use a couple of them. Just pop them, just like that. Go all the way around the door. Just like that. We'll grab the door panel, just slide up. Just like that. There is some clips. So with those clips, you actually don't want to slide up. You want to pry them out. So keep that in mind. Disconnect the speaker right here. Just squeeze that. Take this power wire for the window switch. Just take a trim tool, get underneath the wire retainer, pop it off. And then right here, just slide. This is for the door latch on the inside. Just slide that out, just like that. I'm gonna disconnect this connector right here. Just grab both sides, pull it apart. We wanna take this vapor barrier off. I'm just gonna use a uh, knife and just cut it. You can use a razor blade or a utility knife. Cut this, it should stick back to itself when you go to put it back together. If not, you can add a little bit of this um, adhesive. Just like that, set this aside. I'm gonna take this boot off in here, this little tab on top kind of have to grab it. Actually, if you grab it from underneath, once I get it out, I can show you a little better. It slides off. Pull this out. So there's the tab. Basically just pull these apart and slip it off. There's this little cover right here. This slides out like this. And just slide it down there. We're gonna take those two screws out right there. I'm gonna use a T30 and a ratchet. Just remove those. Take those screws out. Now the door is gonna be kind of loose, so kind of support the door. You don't want the door to swing out too far as well once you get this off. Now we need to remove this bolt. To remove this bolt, we're gonna have to use this socket. It's a E10. It's a basically a reverse 
star socket. Slide that on there with an extension and a ratchet. Loosen it up. Take it out. Slide that out. Then from the inside, you can grab the door check. I grab it right here. I'll just slide this little trim piece off. I'm gonna put that on when we go to put it back in. You can slide it out just like that. door check we want to slide it back through this hole kind of guide it through a little bit this might be a little bit tricky all right so before we attach that we want to put this rubber trim piece on it's gonna go like that Get this screw started. Take the E10 socket and the extension. And then before I tighten that up, I'll take these other two screws, hold the door in the position where you can get those in. top one and the bottom one. All right, with all those in there, now I'm gonna tighten these two first. I'm gonna use a T30 socket. I'm just gonna use an electric ratchet. You can use a hand ratchet if you don't have an electric one. Tighten these down. Just tighten them snug. Snug them up with a hand ratchet. That's good. We'll use the E10 with the extension. Tighten this down. And use the electric ratchet or a hand ratchet again. And just snug it up. Good. Let's take this rubber trim, just slide it over the bolts or the screws, just like that. Take this one, this one's going to go on the inside with the open part facing below. It's kind of hard to see on film. Slide it over. attach it. That's good. Now we're going to reinstall the vapor barrier. Move the wires out of your way. Get this lined up. Back in position there. That looks good like that. Take this connector, just connect that right there, lock it in place. This wire we're going to fish through here, that's going to go for the window switch. Make sure that's in the right position before you put this back together. It's good like that. And we want to connect this right here. This one's going to connect to the speaker, plug that in. And then take the cable for the handle. You want to make sure the handle is not open. Keep it closed. Just line this up. It's going to slide in like that. Lock in position. And then just double check it. Make sure it works and it's working properly. Make sure your wire's through here. And then if any of these clips have popped out, you're going to want to take them out of the door panel. Take the lock rod, slide that in position there. Line these all up. And 
once everything's lined up, just give it a push. Good. All right, I'm gonna take the screws and a T20 socket extension and a ratchet. I'm gonna get all these screws started first before I tighten them down. And then this last one, this is the long one. It's gonna go right here. Once I get all of those started, go back and snug them all up. Take these two little trim pieces. They're gonna slide in like that first. And then lock in place. Same with this one. Just like that. Take this trim piece right here. This is gonna slide in down here. And then line those tabs up. Just like that push it on. And it's all the way down. All right, take the connector. There is a little tab on the connector that lines up with the switch. Slide that like that. And then make sure you slide the switch in properly. Don't put it in upside down. Lock it in place. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.